Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a call for a side-by-side -side that's broke down in the dunes. It sounds like it's a ball joint. We are gonna have to look for it because they just gave us general area that it's in. We are actually headed out in Jeep number two because the little yellow banana is in the shop getting a rear suspension upgrade. Finally decided to put Link's suspension in there so I can keep my soft ride and eliminate my axle wrap because I'm breaking you joints when we get a little bit froggy with it. Eric is headed out in his Jeep. It's going to take two Jeeps to get us out of here because the sand is so soft and that should be an adventure. We've got the dogs with us. Should be a good time. Okay, so we're gonna load it on this trailer. Eric brought his personal Jeep. We've got sand that's kind of unique to the desert southwest called blow sand and it's closer to flower than beach sand so we're gonna head up and uh, see if we can find it up there we're going that way so this Jeep that I'm driving call it Jeep number two this is the Jeep that my oldest son drives, and he helps us with off-road recoveries when he's not at work at his day job. You guys want to get out and run in just a few minutes. Watch out. So we're about halfway from the water tanks to the top of the world. Somebody named it that. It's uh, one, of, one of the highest places in this immediate area. I don't think it's really at the top of the world. Here in the desert southwest, this is a beautiful day when the sun isn't shining. So we decided put the trailer on this Jeep. The reason we're doing that, because it's gonna take two of us to pull this out, and there's nothing to hook on up here. And on this Jeep, we've got a receiver built in behind this bumper. It's been a little bit breezy last night, and there's been a lot of traffic on these dunes because it's been our spring break, and they are just cut up and they are soft. So once we get the side-by-side -side loaded up, we're gonna be doing a little bit of work to get it up some of these dunes. Well, there it is, folks. The top of the world and out there somewhere. It is broken, busted side by side. I think I just spotted it right over here. Okay, they described a broken ball joint, but I'm not seeing a broken ball joint. That's actually good. That will get you in the razor. So it can't be driven on because of binding problems with the drive shaft. So we put it in two wheel drive, put it in neutral. And now we're just gonna roll it up. Get ready to get on the brakes as soon as you pop over that. Bolt stop. Okay, we got a problem. That board slipped out. I think I think it'll drive up over it. Okay, right there. Okay, well done. Like a professional. I can't believe that didn't sink into the ground. That's amazing. The sand dunes all the time. My buddy had one of those. We got so stuck. <laughs> oh, we can get it stuck. You want to? Oh. <laughs> We're, it's, it's your dime. You want to watch us get stuck? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hook these two Jeeps together oh, okay. and pull out. A lot of times, I mean, you can imagine that trailer. A lot of times we're going to just be skidding it like a sled. Yeah. 
So we're heading out of here. This is the process. So we had a little bit of a scare with Eric's Jeep. We thought we making a horrible racket. We decided it's the torque converter making the sound, so it kind of went away. So we were uh, in trouble there for a minute, but it's quiet now and working good, so I don't know. Just about down to the staging area for Santa Hollow State Park. Hopefully everything stays together. I've got to get back to the shop and finish putting the yellow banana together because dealing with these civilian Jeeps is kind of, giving me anxiety. Go up just to the west of them. Yeah, just go, just go, just this side of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. West of them, right there. So I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna. Right over there and just burn it. Coming up that way, right there. Okay, I'm not 100% sure which way is but The best route is right there, but they're parked right there. That trailer starts bucking, and I'm afraid it's gonna rip the hitch off. Here we go, we are gonna hammer down. Spot again. We were headed down through the dunes. There was a little bit of tension because he wanted to go faster than I wanted to go. So I was kind of dragging back and he was pulling pretty hard. By the time we got to the last dune, and it's, and it's a big one, um, we had different strategies about how to get over it. I wanted to just go straight over it the way that I always have, and he wanted to go around it. Matt was explaining to me that he wanted me to go straight up the ranger's edge, which I've never done in my whole life because of the way you pull things up, and when you get on the other side, it yanks them hard, and I could see that my Jeep wasn't gonna make it up there. We tried going around it, we got stuck, and then I told him where we wanted to go, and he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't, I don't know why, um, he just wouldn't do it. I kept trying to go to the right, burn it a little bit, and he got upset that I wasn't going in his tracks that he wanted me to go in, so he jumps out of the Jeep and runs up and draws me some lines in the sand. <laughs> but the way he was running, he had his hands in the air flying, <laughs> going up there. <laughs> I have to run. Go, 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 go. So we tried another route and got buried and I buried myself in the sand. And so we tried three or four times, broke the rope twice. He got it, all right! Finally, I just went over it myself. I got to drive exactly where I wanted to go and made it out okay. Tensions were a little stressed between me and Eric, but we've been friends for a long time, so that didn't take him too long to wash away. <laughs> Matt's constantly wanting me to throw my Jeep away, and I don't understand it. It's got a little bit of sentimental value because my dad gave it to me, but he's constantly wanting me to throw that thing away and find something different. To be quite frank though, it sounds like the crankshaft is rattling around just loose in the oil pan when it starts making that noise. Overall, it actually don't perform too bad. We'll have to check the height here. I think we got it, but we're gonna check it anyway. It's gonna be close. Oh man, it is close. Let the air out. 
of all four tires on the razor. Hopefully that'll get us low enough to get under there. This is all full of sand right here. I can't back up the hill because I'm digging in right there. So we're not fitting because the sand is all stacked up. I think that did it. I think we got it. So we just got to keep moving forward here. We made it by about an inch. So onward. Hey, we're doing this the old fashioned way. Oh boy. This is powered by breakfast. So we got the tires aired back up after uh, letting it out so we can get on the bridge. Dad made it by an there. inch, right? Made it by an inch. Wow. Literally an inch. So the customers were happy and just another job done. Another good day. All right, we got some Maverick. Can I say Maverick? We got some breakfast burritos here at the convenience store. Oh, edit that out, Michelle. I don't know. Yep. Okay. 